Well, my ancestors came to Omaha from Italy, and I've noticed uh, tracing your roots uh, from all going all the way across the world, it can be difficult. Mm -hmm. There's some challenges there. Mm -hmm. There's a workshop on October 31st to help you track your immigrant ancestry, but that's just one part of what's planned this month. Ah, look who's here. Emily Geschman returns from the Omaha Public Library. Good to Hi, see you, Emily. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, good to see you. So what is National uh, Family History Month about? Because well, you're, you're, cele you're celebrating it at the library. Right. October is National Family History Month, and it is actually... Researching your family tree is one of the fastest growing hobbies in the nation, mm -hmm. so there's really no better place to start than at your public library. And I really feel that the library has kind of your one-stop shop for getting started, progressing, and then going beyond that to complete your family tree. So that's, mm -hmm. we have a series of workshops this month at all 12 locations mm -hmm. to help people get, get going on this. We mentioned this one, but that's at the end of the month, yep. so let's talk about what's coming up first. Sure. There's a bunch of just genealogy workshop groups that you can just join no matter what level you're at. Mm -hmm. So if you're just getting started and you want to, you know, kind of find out how do I just even jump off here, you can bring family photos, you can bring some old newspaper articles, you can bring pretty much whatever you've got. And the best part about these workshops is there's just a professional genealogist there who can advise you on mm. what the next steps wow, are. That's so great. some of those are just workshops. Um, we also have using the different databases. So we've all heard of Ancestry.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are so many others, and that's a great one. People get addicted to that one because they'll just get in there and start yeah. digging, and they find more and more. But there are others um, that can help you find different things, marriage licenses, death certificates, um, property transfers, anything that might help you put that story together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are just all sorts of different workshops and classes this month. You mentioned bringing in family pictures. How mm -hmm. will that help you in your search? Uh, to, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Right. You wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't be the best person to ask even because I'm not a professional genealogist, but um, they are, I think it's just, you know, identifying even things in the background of those pictures, yeah. mm -hmm. finding out where those pictures were developed. If you remember, even probably when we were kids, they used to date stamp things, um, say where they were developed mm -hmm. on that photo. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Um, so sometimes those can just be those little clues mm -hmm. yeah. that lead you to the next step. If it's not time and place, then it's at least helping you piece whatever's together. Correct. If you've got the names and whatever mm -hmm. and you're able to advance the timeline that way. Right. Um, you know, we've, we've both tried to look into our family history a little bit and as Mike said, he saw challenges when you were trying to pull records from Italy or when did the, you know, what boat and that whole right. thing. For me, my mom was adopted. So some of the, so how do these professionals help you when we all have a different background? And then you're trying to fill in those blanks. It's a great, it's a great question because I think you always have to go back to identify those records, mm -hmm. which aren't easily done with a Google search. Mm -hmm. So finding the help of a professional. Have you guys ever watched that that show Who where do you they think do? You are? Yeah, with yeah. the celebrities. Yeah. I love that show. And they always go back to their library because there's someone there who has been doing this for mm -hmm. ages and helping people find the records they need to piece that story together. Mm -hmm. So it's really the professional help that is more valuable than any of these other resources that you'll find. So we're talking family history this month at the yes. library. What else do you have going on besides oh, that? Oh, so much. So, so much. Um, we did have our new director start this week at the mm -hmm. library, Laura Marlene. So everyone is invited to an open house on Friday night at our Abrahams branch on 90th and Fort. That's from 5.30 to 7.30. Just to welcome her to Omaha. She came from Rhode Island, so we want to welcome her. That's a big deal. Um, she's got a big job. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, we also have a lot of authors that are coming this month. Um, several that are just coming on their own, and then we have Lit Fest, which is an annual event oh, yeah. put on by Timothy Schaffert. Is the downtown Omaha Lit Fest, um, and there are tons of authors there. There's panel discussions. There's an opening night party. That's so fun every year. And then finally Halloween. Uh -huh. So Halloween hoopla galore. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of information online, I yes. suspect, as we're looking at the website, yes. um, opl.org. So you can go on and get a full schedule. If you are one of those folks, as, as Emily said, more people are getting into it. What do you think it is that, that it's technology that we feel like we're almost becoming distanced from each other, so we're trying to connect with the past? Or what do you, what do you think is driving that desire to learn about our history? I think it's just finding a sense of who you are and where you came from. Mm -hmm. it, it is maybe part of that, but the technology has also helped us put those pieces together, so there's a lot that goes into that. I think everyone's always had a curiosity about where they come from. Yeah. And and I, can I correct myself? OmahaLibrary.org. Oh, yeah, I, need to do it I was going to do and it. I feel kind of bad. We, we kind of we grilled you today on family history, and you're not the professional, but you, I'm did, not. you did quite well. I'm trying my best, guys. Questions. <laughs> Trace Thanks. those Thanks. roots. <laughs> Thanks, Love Emily. it. Thank Good you. Um, did you